Hey guys, Sandy here, and today I am scrapbooking a one photo layout with the Paper House Stargazer collection. I have some uh, fun products here that I plan on using, and this one photo is a photo of my uh, aunt who has uh, passed away from cancer, but this is when she decided to go bald and beautiful, and her son uh, decided to go bald and beautiful with her. And I just thought that this was um, a great photo for this collection. So let's see what I can do. All right, guys, before I actually get into the scrapbooking, I want to give you a quick peek of the Stargazer uh, collection from Paper House. Um, I do have some beautiful things here, and I just want to share them with you. So here is a cut apart sheet, and it is absolutely gorgeous, and it does have gold foiling on it. And then on the back is this gorgeous blue tone print and then we have stars can't shine without darkness and then like the heavens above and then some of the gold foil and on the back we have all kinds of gemstones on this side we have uh, outer space kind of with like the constellations and then this big gold circular uh, pattern going on I have big plans for this paper the problem is, is I love this side and I absolutely adore this side too. This gorgeous kind of galaxy milky like look. Then we have some galaxy and heavens like uh, triangles here. That's what I'm calling this. It looks like heaven. Hev it's heavens like to me. Do you know what I mean? Um, and then the gold foil. And on the back is this gorgeous. It says the best dreams happen when you are awake. Then we have this. Uh, border strip have kind of a bokeh print and the triangles and all these just beautiful beautiful papers and on the back is this big crystal now this kind of reminds me of Superman going to the crystal fortress here we have lots of splatters and those beautiful colors and gold and on this side is the beautiful sky here I have a couple sticker sheets as well so I have these two cardstock sticker sheets. They do have a border sticker and um, stickers that do not have a white border. So that is awesome. Sometimes you want them, sometimes you don't. And then I have a couple of these enamel stickers that are uh, tinged with the gold. So I have some of these. I also have some washi tape, which is spectacular. And then this, for this layout, I'm going to use this... A background that I had pre-made on a retreat. It's just watercolor going down the page, but I thought that it went gr so great with these colors that I would decide to use it. So let's get to it. The first thing I did off camera was trim off a half of an inch of two sides of that watercolor background that I had uh, pre-made. And then I just popped it on to some purple cardstock that was a good enough match for the purple in the Stargazer uh, collection here from Paper House. So I knew I wanted to somehow have a dividing point between the big like splashes of watercolor and the drips. So I decided that that uh, cut apart border paper was absolutely perfect and I decided to go with the bokeh as my center uh, point here. Now as I'm trying to figure out where I want this uh, cut apart from the cut apart sheet to go along with my photo I'm realizing that this uh, like the starry bokeh print is just a little bit uh, too thick so I cut it down to an inch and a half and then I just slap it down there with some adhesive and I'm thinking okay this is kind of bold and bright over top of this watercolor background but you know what I'm just going to go with it and I'm looking at the stickers just to get some little bit of inspiration and trying to figure out what I wanted to do. Originally, I was thinking I was going to uh, decorate the center strip with the stickers, but I decided to go a different way. I decided to uh, use the border strip paper again and just cut off a whole bunch of strips and create little banners out of it. So. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you guys watch me cut uh, little triangles into each of these rectangles to create banners, but that is what I did. I just went through and did this to all of the little strips. And of course, the first time I cut out these banners, I did not have enough. 
So I did have to go in again. Now I had started to put the banners down and then I decided to mark where my uh, three by four cut apart was gonna be and my photo was gonna be. And this was for two reasons. One, so I didn't forget what I had going on in the moment. And two, because I didn't need to use the paper and put these banners behind the place where my cut apart uh, piece was going to be. Like it was, it's just, you know, a waste of paper. Now, if I had probably multiple sheets of the cut apart paper, I probably wouldn't be so worried. Um, but I did know that I only had a finite amount of paper and I had a lot of borders that I had to cut and make into banners. So I just wanted to make sure that I had enough. And as you can see, I'm just going over the pencil lines and I decided to make sure that I had one of these thicker border strips down at the bottom just to give it a little bit more of a base so that uh, it wasn't just kind of floating out there uh, once it was actually on the page. Now, I also decided to kind of pay attention to what colors I was using and I wanted to make sure that I had a good mix of the teals and the purples and the blues throughout the entire line of the paper. So I wanted to make sure that those colors were throughout um, the entire um, vertical line from the top to the bottom. And that was just for consistency's sake. I didn't want to have like all the purple in one section and all the blue in the other, another section. Now if I wanted to like go stripey, I totally could have done that. However, I decided not to go stripey, even though, even though um, my watercolor is kind of stripey with the blue and the purple. And the finished product I think looks great. I'm happy with how it turned out. So, you know, it just worked for me. Now, these uh, papers right here, I did have a good look at that to determine if I wanted it to be um, that triangle side or this blue side. And I felt like it needed the break of the pattern, so I went with the blue side. And I was just peeking under there to see where my pencil marks were because while that was a great idea, as you know, <laughs> you can't see the pencil marks when you cover them all up. So I just had to adjust that a little bit. Now, as you can see, I did have a whole bunch of that uh, border paper left over. So I definitely could have just made the long strips underneath of my three by four cut apart there, but I'm, I'm glad I didn't because now I still have a little bit of those borders left and I was able to mat uh, this photo with it. And the photo is not a great quality photo, but it is an important photo to me and that's why I chose to scrapbook it. And I think sometimes we might get I don't know, a little crazy. Sometimes this happens to me. It, it might happen to you. Let me know in the comments below if it happens to you too. Um, sometimes I don't have such a great photo and I have great supplies, like these supplies uh, from Paper House here, and I'm almost, you know, hesitant to use a bad photo with great supplies. But you know what? The bad photos are moments and memories and, um, like I said, this one's super important. And even though it's not a great photo, I'm, I'm working with it. It was actually taken with someone's really old camera phone. So I'm actually surprised at the quality and how good it is. So now I decided that I was gonna bring in some of the crystals and I'm just using the stickers and I'm just layering them up and bringing the purple and the blue together so that it's not just gonna be purple on one side and blue on the other. And I decided to stick with that vertical embellishment and have one at the top of the photo and one down here at the bottom of the photo. And while I'm looking at this, I'm thinking this is working pretty great. I like how I have my crystals kind of nestled into the title, but I'm thinking it needs a little something more. Like I need a little bit of, of extra oomph behind it. So I go ahead and grab the other stickers that I have. And these are not cardstock stickers. These are faux enamel stickers, and um, they, they feel real nice. They uh, do not rip easily um, from just my use of them here. That's my, my, that's my professional opinion on the matter. 
um, and they have this great gold on them so it added that extra touch of shine that I needed. So I'm just using them to kind of build up the little crystal clusters a little bit more, give them a little bit of extra interest um, just to give it something else. They're, they're a slightly different texture and they also have that gold so it adds some dimension into the crystals, um, just a little bit of extra. Not that these crystals are not fully dimensional looking the way they are because they are amazingly done, but they, it just gives it a little extra oomph. And here I decided to flip that sticker completely around and go a different direction. I felt like I needed my crystal cluster to go off to the left just a little bit more because of how, photo, how far that photo leans off of the left of the center line. So that's why I decided to do that. And I covered up the white part with my blue ones. And as you can see, I did not have enough crystals to just do what I really wanted to do and create a full uh, and complete cluster. So what I did was cut the crystals in half and then use both ends of them and just tuck them in. And it turned out pretty great, I think. Now I am going to uh, add some foam, as you can see. And I'm just trying to get a little bit more foam on there to cover up um, a little bit more of the backing just so the stickers don't fall. So when you put foam on your stickers, if you don't put enough foam on them, like gravity just pulls the stickers down and it looks like you've got a hump where your foam was. So I didn't want that to happen at all. <laughs> so I gave just a little bit of extra foam onto those stickers so that it could do that. And I was still able to get my crystals to nestle around the letters um, on this cut apart sheet. And it says stars can't shine without darkness. And I really think that sometimes people just forget that. Um, it's really people that have never had some sort of darkness in their life like uh, more power to you and I'm thankful that you haven't had to deal with anything like that. Like amazingly and seriously, I feel that way. For people who have had to deal with dark things in their lives, when you come through it and you remember the moments and the moments afterwards, it's just amazing about how different and how bright your life can be. And I just really felt like this was a perfect sentiment uh, for this photo. Now these are some adhesive pearls and I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think they're the Paper Studio brand and I'm just trimming it along. I felt like I wanted to add a little bit of extra something to the bokeh strip. Um, it's kind of getting lost a little bit and that's okay. Like I love the fact that everything is just meeting together so perfectly like I'm really really digging it but I wanted to just emphasize that vertical line a little bit more so I figured that these pearls would definitely do the trick and it's about time for me to get some more of these I love these little guys like seriously love these little pearls they come in a couple different sizes so I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure that they're on the line uh, from top to bottom and again I am not putting pearls underneath of things um, just the pearls are just going where you can see them. I mean, that's the way it is. So there's the layout and I'm thinking it needs a little bit of something. Now that moments is something I had created for another layout and didn't go with it. And didn't end up on that layout, but I thought that the color was good, but the, and the color was great. It's just that it was too big. So I have these little wooden words. Um, sitting on my desk here and I just wanted to use them up and I figured I would use it here. Now I had two thoughts going through my mind. I was either going to use the word amazing and do some um, embossing over it and change the color, get rid of the wood grain, or I was going to add some wood grain and some wood veneer to the layout. I ended up going with the embossing because I felt like it could definitely use another pop of gold because more is more. <laughs> now here I'm just taking these little stars and I'm trying to just add a little bit of extra pizzazz, a little bit of extra pop to the page. And I figured I like the way they are laying down on the page. I'm happy with how they look. 
Um, everything's looking uh, pretty balanced to me right now, so I'm super happy with it. I'm thinking I need to add some more pearls though, because I've got the pearls vertically, but I don't have pearls anywhere else. So I take some pearls and just lay them over top of this one big star over here. And then I'm gonna take a couple of the pearls and cut them out into single little uh, pearls and layer them up over the star stickers. And I'm also gonna pop a couple just around those stars, just so that there is, you know, a good good amount of pearl on that on that layout. Gives it, it gives it a little bit of extra something. There's a little bit of a different texture. Now here, um, I did not um, have my camera on while I embossed the letters. I just used some uh, Wow Gold Embossing Powder from American Crafts. Now I'm using some of this uh, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and this stuff is amazing. So ha, look at that and I even have the word amazing. <laughs> Did not mean to do that, on, but it came out kind of funny. <laughs> anyway, so I get that down and now I just need to figure out what mini stickers I'm gonna use for She Is. And I decided to pull out some really oldies. These are some uh, mini markets from the now defunct October afternoon, but I thought that the teal was a great match for the layout. So I'm just writing out she is and Then I'm going to add one little pearl on top of the is just to bring the pearls down Into the layout even a little bit more now at first I was going to put my journaling over here on the left underneath of the photo but I decided I was actually going to do it over here under the title. And I just talk about how I always knew that my B, um, this, her name was Barbara, and I always called her B, was beautiful. But her countenance just burned so brightly um, as she battled cancer. She battled it for many years. And it was just amazing uh, to see her love shine through um, while she was doing this. For everyone it was just an amazing amazing thing to witness and I would just love her always so I just put that down and then that's gonna do it for the layout guys give you a little peek of it here and thank you so much for watching go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're not subscribed click that bell so you can get notifications and I would love to hear from you so if you have anything to say anything you want to chat about any questions about the layout or anything I've said Go ahead and drop a comment down below and I will see you guys next time.